Death of an Atheist by J.C. Ligar. Read for you by the author. What do all humans have in common? Male or female? Young or old? Devout or godless? All must face the king of terrors. Behold the death of an atheist. It's never pretty. As juice pours out of a grape when it is crushed, so too a man has no power to retain his life when death seizes him. Alone his soul is flung out into the void of darkness, yet he is not alone. The Dark Ones gather. <laughs> Arise, little soul. Face the fate of the ungodly. <laughs> no, how am I still conscious? Death was supposed to be the end. There can't be an afterlife. Who's that? Who's there? Surprise to see us, sunshine. We have been waiting ever so patiently for you to die. So we can claim your soul. You. Belong to, to us now. Are you angels? Oh God, help me, you're hideous. <laughs> we are the fallen ones, human. Do not try to seek shelter and refuge in God, you fool. <laughs> you rejected his salvation and love in life. He now rejects you in death. Have pity on me, please, whatever your name is. It's not my fault. There was not enough evidence for me to believe in God or the afterlife. How was I expected to believe in some invisible creator God without proof? Please stop touching me. It hurts. <laughs> my name is Planos. I am the fallen angel known as Seducer. And I have no pity. <laughs> <laughs> the worms and maggots shall feed sweetly upon him. <laughs> Would you now attempt to lie to me with that deceitful tongue of yours, human? Can even a fool behold a painting and yet not realize that it took an artist to create it? That's just the thing. All we humans have is that book called the Bible, which was written by man and full of contradictions. <laughs> How are we to believe in talking snakes and people living for 900 years and a virgin birth? Not to mention dragons, giants, and unicorns. Oh, but you did believe in the Big Bang Theory. 
and that you evolved from a primordial pond to that of a monkey. From go to you by way of the zoo. <laughs> When you turn away from the truth, we turn you unto fables. Don't, Don't tell, tell us you have, have no, no faith, faith to, to believe. believe. So now I'm damned? Why? I was never that bad of a person. I never hurt anyone. Why must the wrath of God fall upon me? Just because the wisdom of my scientific intellect wouldn't allow me to believe in him? The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against you. Because you held the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God was manifested to you. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by you. Even his eternal power and Godhead. So you are without excuse. I believed in the God of reason and science, not in some invisible daddy God in the sky who demands we live under his rules. If I had forbidden pleasures that my lust wanted me to indulge in, no one was going to tell me what I couldn't do, especially God. <laughs> yeah. So how is that working out for you, Bubbles? Giving in, in to lust. lust. May, may cause, cause you to, to experience, experience a, a burning, burning sensation. <laughs> <laughs> you changed the truth of God into a lie. Wherefore, God also gave you up to uncleanness through the lust of your own heart to dishonor your own body. For this cause, God gave you up unto vile affections. And even as you did not like to retain God in your knowledge, God gave you over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. But what did I do to deserve all this? What did I do that was so wrong? What were my sins? Lying, stealing, blasphemies, pornography? <laughs> You were filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. You were full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperer, backbiter. You were a hater of God, despiteful, proud, boaster, and an inventor of evil things, disobedient to parents. You were without understanding, covenant breaker, without natural affection 
implacable, unmerciful. You knew the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. You not only did the same, but you had pleasure in them that do them. <laughs> oh, I am in bitterness of soul, for I long for a death that can deliver me from this misery. Unconscious oblivion, where art thou? <laughs> For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. You think you know fear. Behold. Still must face the Holy One which we despise. After your hardness and impenitent heart, you treasured up unto yourself wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. He will render to every man according to his deeds. <laughs> Why do you hate me so that you rejoice at my damnation? What have I ever done to you? You had the opportunity. We who are fallen never had to be forgiven. God did not become an angel to die for us. He was made in the likeness of men to die for humanity. Why did you fall? What did you do that was so wrong? God wanted us who were first to serve you who were last. We who are strong to serve you who are weak. We who were once beings of light and beauty, had to be subservient to you mere jars of clay. When Lucifer rebelled against God, I joined him. I soon learned why God is called the Almighty. With a single word, we were cast out of heaven as lightning. We await our final judgment. You humans are the cause of our ruin. We can never harm God physically, but we can cause him pain emotionally by causing his beloved human race to turn from him in unbelief for eternity. I will inflict upon you all my rage and, and hatred that I feel for him. When someone dies in their sins, their soul is sent to hell 
to await trial before the Lord Jesus Christ. This event will take place after the 1,000 year reign of Christ on the earth. It is known in the Bible as the Great White Throne Judgment. Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Jesus Christ is Lord! The dead, small and great, stand before God. The books are opened, and they are judged according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man, according to their works. Death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Dear reader, if you are an atheist, God does not believe in you. He has given light to everyone that is born, the light of creation and of the conscience. We choose darkness because our sins, which we love, are evil. Just in case the Spirit of God is tugging at your heart, here is the Gospel. God sent His only begotten Son to be born of the Virgin Mary, fully God, fully man, to live a perfect, sinless life. Jesus Christ became the substitute for humanity. God placed upon Him all our sins, and Jesus received the due punishment that we, as a sinful human race, deserve. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. For Christ also has once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. It is finished! But God demonstrated His love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God's righteousness was satisfied with His sacrifice. He died, was buried, and on the third day, the triune Godhead raised Jesus bodily from the dead. Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Now you have a choice to make, to accept Jesus Christ as the rock of your salvation, 
or reject him and what he did for you. Here's a warning. Jesus, in a parable, referred to himself as a stone. All who fall upon me will be broken, but all I fall upon will I grind to powder. So fall upon your knees in prayer. Confess your sins to God. You know what they are. Trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for your forgiveness. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Now, tell someone. God bless you all. Amen. Please, after reading this, do not be a fool and say in your heart, there is no God. I know the lust and temptations of this world are hard to resist. Believe me, I get it. But the momentary pleasures of sin are not worth going to hell over. But, if you want to risk it, the Fallen Ones will be waiting for you. For every soul we drag to hell, that is one that God loses. And to us, that is our greatest victory and vengeance. <laughs> Beware the beast, but enjoy the feast we offer. This has been Death of an Atheist by J.C. Ligar. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please smash that subscribe button. Just smash it, smash it I say. <laughs>